You know, it doesn't always work to just lock a kid up and throw away the key. I didn't throw away the key. It's in the kitchen. Okay, well, I was talking symbolically, but all right, oh, I, I, I'm with you now. Okay, get out of the way. What are you doing? Step away from the closet, please. Oh, oh this is so unfair. Oh, no, 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 not that whole chunk. Just take, no, okay, take that, that's ugly. Just that one, no, uh. Okay, now all of this goes. I want you to come over here to this dresser, open up the top drawer, and take out everything that you'd be embarrassed to be wearing during a car accident. Meet me downstairs. Leave the house with four girls. I'm coming home with four girls. Hi. I'm looking for a couple of college boys who might live here or have friends who live here. I don't talk to anybody. People annoy me. What? She found him with the blonde again. <sighs> She's going to knock on every door in the entire building, isn't she? Yep. Wow. Hello? Is anyone around? Let's go follow your mother. Oh, your mother and I have just secured a place on Martha's Vineyard. Really? That's great. I thought you lost your old place. We did. But this afternoon, we found out that Arthur Roundtree had died. He'd been drinking. So we got on the phone and snatched that place up. Oh, it's a fine piece of property. Much better view than our usual place. Mm. The both of you are going directly to hell. I hope you know that. Well, at least we'll be well rested. <laughs> Touche. I am so thrilled about this. I'm glad. The two of you must come up for the weekend. It is so lovely. Rory would just love it. Can we go for a weekend? We'll see how much Valium Auntie Suki can lend Mommy, okay? It's 6 o'clock. I know. On Saturday morning. That's right. It's 6 o'clock on Saturday morning. Do you want to wear docks or sneakers? I want to wear slippers. Up, please. Rory, my heart. It is Saturday, the day of rest. Sunday's the day of rest. No, Saturday's the day of pre-rest. Pre-rest? Yeah, so that way when you actually get to Sunday, you're rested enough to enjoy your rest. I don't have any baby pictures of your mother. Thank you. How could you not have any baby pictures of Mom? Because when your mother was seven, I came downstairs and found her burning all of her baby pictures. Why would you do that? I'm sure you were a cute baby. She was. She was very cute. Four, three, two, one. In most respects. Then we have liftoff. What does that mean? Nothing. I don't see what the problem is. You certainly grew into it. Grown into what? As a child, your mother had an unusually large head. The best thing about it was that she would tell me, constantly. My first complete sentence was, big head, want dolly. I can't imagine it being that bad. It wasn't. It just affected her balance a little. Furniture? Yes. Good. Because for a minute there I thought we were having a problem with decorator elves and I was going to have to call an exterminator and tent the place, but it was just you. Great. Good. So now, was there any uh, reason that you just suddenly felt the need to move around large pieces of furniture first thing in the morning? I was up. It was there. Okay. Good thought process. Great. Now, I, I, I noticed that you, you didn't move the TV, though. It was too heavy. Right. Okay. Well, I like this. Yeah, this is good. Now, of course, when the sofa actually faced the TV, it made it a little easier to watch. But, you know, this is good, too. It'll be like, um, you know, like radio. Lorelei, I hope that's not food in those bags. Food is not allowed at town meetings. No, Taylor, it is, it's, um, diapers for the little ones. The what? Dorsal fins and cucamonga. What did you say? I confuse him until he loses his train of thought, and then he moves on. Oh. I just thought you should know that my parents just brought in the suitcase that I'm supposed to take on my trip. And to paint you a picture, it could fit you and me, plus everything we own, and still have enough room to do a little souvenir shopping. I'm never coming back. Right, I'll be fast. Okay, here's my CDs, my zines, my posters, my books, three of your sweaters, and one Viva Glam lipstick. I need to leave them here while I'm in Korea because my mother's bound to search my room, and if she finds them, she'll throw them out. And then spend the rest of the summer praying for myself. I'll treat them like my own. Okay, now, this is the Lane Kim Retrieval Kit. It contains the phone number of my cousins in Korea, a map of the house I'll be staying at, a picture of me now, and a mock-up of me in six months. You've lost some weight. Now, this is that name of that guy at the American consulate, and several important Korean phrases written out phonetically, you know, help, have you seen this girl, comes for money, etc. So, the Don says you're in publishing. Huh? 
publishing? You're in publishing? Oh, yes, I am. Books, huh? You should find a field with less paperwork. <laughs> Good one. Mm, hey! You have two. I still have one. So, uh, publishing? Mm-hmm. Yes, I do publish. Uh, it's kind of a dry line of work. Not much to talk about. Oh, nonsense. It's fascinating. <laughs> so, what kind of books do you publish? Uh, mainly youth-oriented ones. Children's books? Sure. Oh, any that we've heard of? Probably not. No, wait, please, give me some titles. I'll write them down, and then when I get home, I'll look them up. Dave, do you have your space pen? You have to ask. Oh, he loves his space oh, pen. Yeah. They write underwater. Cool. So, what are the titles? Well, there's, um, Goodnight Spoon and, um, The Horse That Wanted to Bark. Oh, I think I read that to my grandson. The horse learns to bark, and then he... <laughs> oh, what happens at the end? He dies. But he learned to bark, though, so it's actually an upper. Oh, <laughs> so where are your offices? They're in the, um, the building with the, uh, over on the road. Man, there are a lot of postings here. Oh, yeah, there sure are. You looking for a place to live? Oh, uh, maybe. Well, there's a lot of choices. Something for everybody. Yeah, yeah, unless you're one of those existentialists who can't really figure out what they want. Good point, good point. Hey, I think we have a class together. Contract law? Professor Jefferson? Oh, yeah, chef's class. Right. I've been meaning to say hi to you. Really? Yeah. Oh, hi. 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 So do you like the class? Um, it's not too bad. He's kind of got a monotone voice. <laughs> if I don't calf up, he puts me right to sleep. Oh, I'm about to calf up right now just for the hell of it. <laughs> okay. So I'll see you in class. And maybe at that five cap party tonight? Can she? Get in character. What? Hey there. Hi. I'm Angie. This is Trish. Hi. How's it going? Not bad. Oh, cool. We're just kind of hanging out between classes. We got Chef next. So, we'll probably see at the Phi Alpha Beta thing tomorrow, right? Maybe. Yeah, we're not sure either. They can be so totally lame. <laughs> Gag me. He hooted one of my dance classes. He took a garden hose for my yard. My son said he set off the fire alarms at school last week. I heard he controls the weather and wrote the screenplay to Glitter. 